Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's Grade 6, Unit 3, Lesson 14, Practice Problems Review is on Solving Percentage Problems. In Question 1, for each problem, explain or show your reasoning. 160 is what percentage of 40? A lot of these you can do number lines, you can do tables. I'm going to show using a, a table method here where we're going to have our number and our percentage. Well, we have 40 and we have 160. And it's asking 160 is what percentage of 40? So our 40 is our 100% number. How do we get from 40 to 160? Well, we're multiplying by 4. And if we take 100 and multiply by 4, we get 400. So 160 is 400% of 40. Now, 40 is 160% of what number? Let's follow the same logic here. Number and percentage. So 40 is 160% of what? Well, of what is going to be our 100% number? Well, how do I get from 160 to 100. If I take 160 and divide it by 100, I get 1.6 or 1 and 6 tenths. So I could take 160 and divide it by 1 and 6 tenths to get to 100. So 40 divided by 1 and 6 tenths is going to give me my solution, and that is 25. So 40 is 160% of 25. And lastly, what number is 40% of 160? Well, once again, we have our number and our percent. Squeeze this in here. What number is 40% of 160? Well, 160 is our number. That's our 100% total. And what number is 40%? Well, to get there, to get from 100 to 40, we're dividing by 2.5, as 100 divided by 40 is 2.5. So 160 divided by 2.5 is going to be 64. So what number is 40% of 160? 64. The other way to do that, you might just say, well, what is 160 times 0.4 or 0 0.40? Because that also represents 40%. But the tables can be used um, pretty consistently in order to solve these questions as well. All right, number two. A store is having a 20% off sale on all merchandise. If May buys one item and saves $13, what was the original price of her purchase? Explain or show your reasoning. If we make a table again, we can have our price and our percent. We know she saved $13. And this $13 is the 20% off total. The total is 100%. So, how do I get from 20 to 100? We are going to multiply by 5. So, if I take 13 and multiply by 5, I get $65. So, $65 was the original price because 20% off was 13. Question 3. The original price of a scarf was $16 during a store closing sale. A shopper saved $12 on the scarf. What percentage discount did she receive? Explain or show your reasoning. Let's go with price and percent again in our table. The original price was $16. That's our 100%. Saving $12, we need to figure out, well, what percent is that? Well, how do I get from 16 to 12? If I take 16 and divide it by 12, we get... 
crazy decimal, 1.3 repeating, or 1 and a third. Same thing as 1.3 repeating, or 1 and 3 tenths repeating. So, if we take 100 and divide it by 1 and a third, or by 1.3 repeating, we're going to get 75. So it's a 75% discount. Question four. Select all the expressions whose value is larger than 100. Now 120% of 100 is certainly larger because 100% of 100 is 100. 120% of 100 is bigger than that. 50% of 150, we're looking at half of 150, and that's around 75, so that's not it. 150% of 50. Well, 100% of 50 is 50. 50% 50 of 50 is 25. When I add those together, it's 75, so we're not above 100. 20% of 800. Well, 10% of 800 is 80. 20% is going to be double that, or 160. So yes, D, you're in the larger than 100 club. 200% of 30. Well, 100% of 30 is 30. 200% of 30 is double that, or 60. So no, not bigger than 100. 500% of 400. I'm not even going to do that. 100% of 400 is 400, and 500% is five times bigger. That's 2,000, so that's much, much bigger. 1%, well, 10% of 1,000 is 100. So 1% is going to be smaller than that, or 10. So nope, that's not there. A, D, and F are our solutions there. Question five. An ant travels at a constant rate of 300 centimeters every two minutes. At what pace does the ant travel per centimeter? I love tables. I just think our tables can really help things set up here. 30 centimeters, 2 minutes. We're trying to get per centimeter. Well, how do I get from 30 to 1? I'm dividing by 30. So 2 divided by 30 is going to be, well, 2 thirtieths, which is 1 15th minute per centimeter. If you divided this in a calculator, you would get 0 0.06 with that 6 repeating. So, I would just say 1 15th minute per centimeter. Now, what about, that was for A. That's a terrible arrow. That's a little better. And B, at what speed does the ant travel per minute? Well, centimeters, minutes again. 30 centimeters in 2 minutes. This time we're going to 1 minute. And this is the easier question, perhaps, because as you go, how do I get from 2 to 1? I'm dividing by 2. So 30 divided by 2 is 15. So we're looking at 15 centimeters per minute. Huh. 1 15th and 15. Those are almost reciprocals. Huh. Question six. Is three and a half cups more or less than one liter? Explain or show your reasoning. Note, one cup is about 236 and six tenths milliliters. So we either need to get our cups into liters or our liters into cups. Hmm. Well, I am going to, let's see what's easier. Oh, well, let's, <laughs> let's get our... Cups and milliliters first. We know one cup is 236 and 6 tenths milliliters. Three and a half cups is going to be three and a half times that. So if we're looking at 236 and 6 tenths multiplied by three and a half, that's about 828 and one tenth milliliter. Now, one other thing that we hopefully know is that 1,000 milliliters is equal to one liter. Well, 828 and one-tenth milliliters is smaller than 1,000, so it's going to be 
uh, less than one liter. All right. Name a unit of measurement that is about the same size as each object. And there's a lot of different options here. The distance of a doorknob from the floor is about, I'm going to go one yard. It's about three feet. The thickness of a fingernail is about one millimeter. The volume of a drop of honey is about one milliliter. You think about drops of any liquid, it's about one milliliter. The weight or mass of a pineapple is about one, I'll call it a pound. The thickness of a picture book is about one inch. The weight or mass of a buffalo is about one ton. The volume of a flower vase is about one, I think volume here, liter maybe. The weight or mass of 20 staples is about one gram. The volume of a melon is about one gallon. And the length of a piece of printer paper is about one foot. About eight and a half by 11 inches, and 11 inches is pretty close to 12 inches for a foot, so. That's that. Speaking of that, that, that's it for this lesson. Grade 6, Unit 3, Lesson 14, Practice Problems Review on Solving Percentage Problems. Sorry about the sound today. Didn't have my headphones with me, so hope it worked. Good luck.